All right, over four years ago, I showed you how to wind a toroid coil on YouTube. One of the, the missing videos now, when I got aggravated and I deleted them, I had 700 videos up there. I have about 100 something now. This is a toroid coil, blank, T50-2. Good for like three mega cycles to nine, approximately. Look it up, toroids.info. All right, it's not a dot com, it's toroids.info. And you, you see the chart where you can calculate what uh, how many windings you need to make a specific coil. Okay, Here, look how tiny that is. Now, other people on YouTube use a large toroid and they, they basically show you how to wind it, which there's no help at all. Oh, and this is a piece of hookup wire. See, piece of hookup wire. Nothing magical to it. Now, this is a vise. This is a pan of ice. You don't need this. You can use any vise at all. But if you use a metal vise, you want to put a piece of rubber uh, behind here to cushion it. Put it down in there on your vise, and you pull it behind here really hard, and then tighten it down. All right, now your toroid, it's sturdy. It's, it's really there. Now, the next thing, let me show you this tool. This is a piece of aluminum. It's got a horseshoe on the on the back. See it? Let me get it. Okay. And everything's rounded off. There's no sharp edges. Okay? And there's a little tiny hole in here. Now you take your wire. Here's your really fine wire. Okay? I'm actually using wire that you could probably see. You put it through the hole. Alright? And then you bend it over on the back. All right, now you, you wind your, your wire around the tool. It's called a shuttle. Sort of like on a, a loom, the thing that goes back and forth. It's a shuttle. All right, here we go. Now, when you wind a toroid coil, you basically start three turns, and you're basically, you're almost home free. And you've got to move them around a little bit to turns and tighten them down. But we're now going through the loop. Of the toroid coil okay now we're going to pull back on our wire all right now we're going to go through with the shuttle and I, it, this is crappy at first the first three turns you do and I, un, un, I i just unwound it oh great that makes a good video okay go through pull it tight and go through again yeah i'm in an awkward position here but in other words there you go. Now tighten it up. Now you can move your winding off to the side. Now I have my camera in the way. It's making it tougher. But you want you want the windings to be next to each other with a little spacing or no spacing. But you don't want the windings to go over the top of a previous winding. That'll mess up the cue of the coil. Each winding has to be laid down next to each other and you can let you can put the coil out here and then move it in okay and after you do so many turns uh you can put a little epoxy on it to hold it in place close it up epoxy do your next set of turns maybe 10 at a time but that's how how you do a little tiny toroid coil okay t50-2 it's a red coil um a lot of these come color coded and I got mine from, uh, let's see what the guy would be, Toroid Man, Toroid Guy. I think it was the Toroid Guy on the internet. And uh, he makes you buy, uh, I think, 25 And they're less than a dollar each. But that's my Toroid uh, video, okay? Now, I don't, I don't want to hear about it. someone else showed the same thing because I did this video showing the shuttle, showing a smaller Toroid coil over four years ago okay and i realized that there were some really good videos that i did delete but if you were in my shoes and you had people trolling you creepy people uh you got a bunch of people that can't speak english that want something from me and i handle it totally different now okay but i took everything down i had to think for a while i didn't realize that i didn't monetize all my videos and youtube just started putting commercials in them and people started complaining to me about the commercials. I have nothing to do with controlling YouTube, okay? And, you know, you're making money on it. You think I'm going to watch your videos. 
You know, then when you answer each one of these idiots one at a time, it doesn't make any difference because there are a lot of idiots out there. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't give it a thumbs up. I really don't care. Notice they took the thumbs down. Uh, I used to have people come in and just put thumbs down on all my videos because I pick on their video. All right, that's it.